Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus, and we are in Bitwig version 1.03, a few days after release. And this is actually my first Bitwig tutorial for Tuts Plus. Now I've had Bitwig for a while now, I've been on the beta program, I've been doing various courses and promotional material with it, and I've really enjoyed using it. And there are some really nice features. One of these, or one of these feature sets, because it's not really just one feature, is the modulation system. And the modulation system as it stands is, is really great, but as far as I understand they're going to take it further. Now we'll talk about that um, in a little bit, but I think in the next update they're going to do something really special with it. So let's just have a quick look at what we've got here in this really, really simple project. It's just a MIDI pattern and a one synth. Now it's in its, this synth is the polysynth and it's sort of their, their flagship and it really is just in its default state. So default synth, default state, simple chord pattern. Doesn't get any duller than that. <laughs> but what I'm going to try and do is show you how we can sort of spice this up. With I'm not going to change any parameters apart from with modulation. And in some synths and in some doors that can be a bit of a chore, but I'm going to show you how it's so straightforward in Bitwig. Okay, so anywhere you see this little circle going into an arrow, that is Bitwig's universal sign for modulation. You're going to see that everywhere. And anytime you see it, it means you can map a modulation using it. So you can usually click on them. When you do, everything lights up blue and it looks a little bit like Ableton's MIDI mode. Let's not mention Ableton, actually, when we're doing the Bitwig video because uh, it might get upset. Um, but if we once it's, this is done, it's everything's ready to go. Now, if this is a monophonic uh, modulation, monophonic LFO, if you went for a polyphonic LFO, it would be green. So anything blues monophonic, green's polyphonic. All right. So these first two are just standard, straightforward LFOs. I can then start to map it, and it's this is sort of a little bit like massive, and you can see what I mean now that it's borrowing from you know really cool other cool instruments and doors, but. Um, you see this movement, which I just love, because I think in some instruments and doors, you don't get that. You just don't see it. It's happening, but you don't actually see the movement. And I really like that because you can sort of see the depth and the speed really, really clearly. Um, we can obviously change the speed of the LFO, and this can all be done while you're still in the mapping mode, by the way. And this will sync, so let's have a listen to that. changing the depth here and when you turn it off you still see the movement and you can still change the parameter it just changes the center of the range now you don't have to just stick stick to the one parameter you can modulate several parameters with the same modulation source right and I'm just going to go with the resonance, we'll go with a little bit of FM, a little bit of noise maybe. If you want some variation, go to the second LFO, let's sync this to time as well, but we'll go a bit faster, we'll go to the eight. there we go, uh, and we'll go with the sync here. Mix the, let's go slower actually. I like that. And this is all just with modulators. And you can see all, <laughs> look at all this stuff changing now. And this is with two LFOs modulated in what? 30 seconds? <laughs> so, you know, if you're working with a mod matrix, it'd be, you'd have to set up the destination, the source. You'd have to decide which one you're using, change the amount, hear if it's right, because you wouldn't be able to see any movement. It's so simple in Bitwig, it's scary. And then if you go down here, you've got modulation wheel, velocity key, uh, you know, all the things you'd expect. We can change things with the mod wheel. So if we wanted to change, say, the release and the attack with the mod wheel, I could do, and that's my mod wheel moving those two there. So it doesn't stop here. There's a couple of really cool things I want to show you now. And if we add 
an effect inside the synth and you'd have to use one of these boxes but let's say we add a reverb and just make sure that's highlighted and then use that little tab there and we'll go reverb and say we like the sound of the reverb but we don't want it in all the time take the mix down use the mod wheel for example to change the mix of the reverb now because the reverb's inside this synth this is all lights up blue as well so you can just modulate anything with anything inside this system now i was talking earlier about bitwig updating the mod system they're talking about a universal mod system that's basically going to be implemented i don't know version 1.5 or 2 I, i'm not sure it says in a future update on the site so it's hard to tell um, but I think it's the next update and what that's going to mean is that you're going to be able to modulate anything with anything so you don't have to worry about containing these things as far as I understand it you'll be able to modulate anything with an LFO from a synth so maybe something on another track or something in the mixer or you know it's going to be great so it's going to be this completely open modular uh, modulation system but right now you've got to keep things contained but it's still better than most because if you save this patch this reverb saved anyway with this synth patch and and the modulations are as well so now I can use the mod wheel now I'm controlling the release and the attack as well but I'm doing all that in one synth and if you run out of LFO, say we don't want to use this third LFO here, this poly one, say we want another couple of uh, monophonic LFOs, press plus here, triple dots, LFO mod, there's two LFOs, grab this synth, which has got the reverb built into it, drag it into the effects slot of this LFO, highlight LFO one, boom, you can then modulate anything else. So let's modulate the attack and release, and let's modulate... I don't know, uh, the glide and the pan, right? <laughs> Not sure where this is going to go, but it might sound terrible. Bit of reverb. Every time I do this, the sound's completely different. I've, you know, you can spend hours doing this, and I have, and you can make the coolest patches. Patches that, are, you know, you can make in other synths, but not so quickly. And you don't get such random results. And you can always save this, you know, as a container or whatever. And it's just, for me, just so much fun as far as sound design goes. Now, there are other really cool sort of synths I'm going to show you in future videos, but just to give you a flavour, something like the XY effect or the XY instrument, uh, you can put four effects or four instruments. I think there's a dedicated XY instrument as well. Um, there it is, yeah. So it looks the same, but basically you can have four effects or four instruments and you can just morph between them, right? And then you can use the XY axis can be can modulate things. You can put this onto a controller. You can use the LFO mod to modulate this and you can morph between four instruments and four effects and you can layer these together i mean it's just endless <laughs> the amount of different sounds you'd be able to get out of this and quickly as well and you know the cpu hits also very low so for, for me this is a really innovative system i love it i've been enjoying using it um, hopefully you will too if there's anything else you want to see specifically in Bitwig, let me know and I'll try and fit it in. I'll be doing more Bitwig videos. I've obviously done a lot of courses elsewhere that you can check out. Um, but just let me know and I'll try and fit them in. But until then and until the next video, I'll say bye for now and uh, hopefully enjoy using Bitwig.